so this is what we are going to do in this video we are going, going to use ultrasonic sensor so here at this ultrasonic sensor with me my audio and my lcd so i just want to show you its pins So here I have this uh, ground echo trigger and VCC. So brown is on trigger and brown is on echo and uh, red is on trigger. So white goes in VCC and black is for ground. So here I have this black which will go in ground. Now this wires for trigger and echo. So brown is for echo. It's gonna go in pin number D2. And red is for trigger. It's going to go in D3. So I'm using D2 and D3. D2 for echo, D3 for trigger. So I'm just adjusting my sensor so I could uh, record distance with it so now I'll be programming it connecting it with my PC so here I have this code so I'm using i2c LCD so I've got library for it uh, echo on pin number 2 and trigger is on pin number 3 that is my brown and red wire brown on 2, red on 3 then I have these two variables that is duration and distance distance is what we are going to measure using duration so trigger pin and echo pin are defined trigger for output, echo for input and what we are doing here is we are turning high trigger pin then we turn it low and we record the duration on echo then how much time it takes for echo to echo pin to go high so here we have this formula for it and we are going to record this this distance in centimeter and these are the codes for LCD we are placing cursor and we are just writing it on LCD So what's happening here is that duration that we are recording is in microseconds and we want to record distance in centimeters. So first of all, the speed of sound in air is 340 meter per second. So I multiplied it by 100. I got this answer. Then as my duration is in microseconds, so I'll have to divide it by 1 million. So after dividing it by 1 million, I get this answer 0 0.034. That is how I got my constant. And divided and that divided by two is used because it will take twice the duration for sound to go hit the object and return back and we only want one distance so we only require one duration so that's why we have divided duration by two now I'll be uploading this code And the code has been successfully uploaded on audio now. and the distance it's recording right now is 149 centimeter that is the distance between wall and this sensor I moved it back and distance is changing so now it's uh, reading 160 centimeter so I'm going to check whether it's reading correctly or not using this scale. So we are going to use a scale and a test object for checking. 
or whether our sensor is working correctly its reading is uh, accurate or not so test object is nail cutter so right now it was reading 11 I'm moving closer to sensor I placed it on 7 it's reading 8 now but after little adjustment it will read 7 so it is reading 7 now I'm moving it back I've moved it back to 20 and it's reading 20 centimeter now moving it closer and I placed it on 12 centimeter and it's correctly reading 12 centimeter so in close up now for longer distance of 20 centimeter so here it is on 12 and our reading is 12 and now I'm going to move it back I have just placed it on 20 centimeters now and now again reading the distance so here we have we have successfully recorded the distance of 20 centimeter so our sensor is just working fine so if I place it to any value, it is going to read it correctly.